Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of NBA by Brian. I'm really excited for this one because we're doing the Memphis Grizzlies today. They have such a cool history. They have such cool colors. We're going to be able to do some really cool stuff with these guys. If you guys have any questions, if you want to make any suggestions for future episodes, let me know what team you guys want to see me do next. Drop that in the comments below. I'll be sure to check it out. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon if you want to be reminded when my videos go live. And if you enjoy the video, hit that thumbs up. If you want to ask me anything live, come hang out with us on Twitch. I'm on Twitch three days a week, every Monday and Wednesday, Friday at 3 p.m. Pacific. All that will be linked below. But that's going to do it for the intro, so let's get into it. All right, everybody, let's get this going. I'm really excited. So here's where the Memphis Grizzlies are currently at with their primary uniform set. They do occasionally wear their old school uniforms. However, this is their main their main setup. And the color palette's terrible, in my opinion. I, I don't like it at all. The hardest thing about this jersey is mainly what they where they came from. They came from something that was so cool and so unique and super 90s and just rad and and now they're they're wearing something that's just not exciting at all to be perfectly honest if the grizzlies wanted to completely fix their uniform set they could just go back to these you know like these there's a here's a picture of the actual original ones the you know the word mark could be shrunken down and scoot up a little bit on the jersey it's a little bit huge there it looks kind of crazy but these jerseys are just about perfect like they're beautiful so if you're the grizzlies and you want to fix your uniforms you don't have to listen to me or use the design i'm about to show you you could just go back to these and that would be a perfectly acceptable idea if this was the primary main road jersey for the grizzlies and then a white version of this at home all done you're good to go next next team up these are just so beautiful and so good and they could go back to these and it would make a lot of Grizzlies fans and basketball fans very, very happy. But that's not what we're here to do today. We're not here to just say go back to what you had before. I'm working on something of my own that I think would be pretty cool for them to try out. And let's take a look at what we got so far there. So jumping over to Illustrator, you can see I've created a new Memphis Grizzlies logo. Um, I like this a lot. I like the kind of the rugged scratchy font and then the scratches behind the bear. Um, the bear itself is pretty cool looking. I worked from real life pictures of real bears and, um, you know, found one that was like a cool pose and everything. And we turned it into a logo. Um, this was a fun project. Actually, we created the bear on one of my streams. So as I mentioned in the intro, I do stream on Twitch. And during one of those streams, we were working on this bear. Um, and my chat really enjoyed it and they really liked it. So they demanded merchandise. So you can actually buy, I'll link it below, but you can actually buy merchandise that I sell with this bear on it if you want. So anyways, um, this is the logo I've got so far and I really like where this is at. And let's peek at the uniforms real quick. So this is where I'm at in the design process. Plenty of work to do. As you can see, we're working from the OKC template and we're just gonna switch everything up. Uh, but here's what I'm thinking, right? I'm thinking we use this Grizzlies font on the jerseys because I think it looks dope. I came up with this cool number font, though, and this cool effect that pays homage to the neon lights that you see in Memphis. I was looking at pictures of Memphis, doing a little research on the city and trying to find out, like, what's this place all about? Well, neon lights downtown are a very iconic aspect of Memphis. And this font, uh, this effect kind of pays homage to that while looking totally unique, like something I haven't seen on a jersey before. So I think that looks pretty cool. I got the scratches behind it, just kind of a subtle thing for the, the numbers to sit on top of. I was experimenting with straight straight stripes, as you can see here, but we're going to stick with the, the scratches here. And then this pattern is incomplete, but it's the one, one of the few things that I'm actually going to keep from their current uniform set. So if we take a look at these again, you can see in here, um, you can see it best on the shorts right here. It's got this pattern of these bars next to one another, and you can see it in the middle there. That's actually really cool, I think, because they had a fancy pattern on their original jerseys. It was more Native American inspired, but we're in Memphis now, not Vancouver. So I didn't want to use this same exact pattern that we have here. Although, like I said from the beginning, they could just use exactly this and call it a day. It would be so cool. We're going to stick with the pattern that they've currently got, but implement it into our new colors and our new uniform system. I did switch up the color a little bit, you may have noticed. Because of the inspiration and influence the blues have on Memphis, um, I decided to do brass 
to represent the brass instruments. We're sticking with the super bright red. I think I made the red even brighter than what they used to have. And then the teal there as well. So here's what I got so far for the top. And then on the bottom here, you can see what I got going for the shorts. We've got the pattern on the waistband here. I decided to recolor their original ball claw logo because I think it's amazing. And we could use that and with the logo that I created, I think that that would look really cool. This gray version I think looks cool with the large claw ball logo here. And I'm playing around with the idea of incorporating the Memphis word mark into the pattern every so often. Anyways, the next step that I want to do though is I'm not going to finish the pattern on the 2D version of the jerseys because we will be moving to a 3D beautiful mock-up. So my next step here is to replace these OKC jerseys with alternate versions of Memphis. We're going to give them this dark gray that I've got going here, uh, and then we'll do a teal and a white jersey for them as well. And we'll switch up colors, logos, and things that I think need to be switched up for each one. And we'll see where we're, where we're at at that point. So I'm going to speed that part up a little bit. I don't know what I'll put over the top of me working. I'm sure I'll come up with something silly. I'll catch up with you guys in a minute for now. I'm just going to focus on duplicating these into other colors and fine tuning the design. Well, hello, everybody. My name is Carl and I'm a grizzly bear. So happy to join you today for this YouTube video. Now, Brian asked me to come down and help him out so he could have a real expert's opinion on today's design, considering I am a grizzly bear after all. He was a little concerned, however, that I might talk too slow, but I don't think that that's going to be a problem at all. All right, you guys, as you can see, I'm having trouble waffling between a couple decisions here and there. Instead of having that be on camera, I'm going to decide that stuff and then we'll come back, throw them in the 3D templates and see where we're at. So there I was, just minding my own business, standing in a river. And up comes a man with a backwards hat that asked me if I would like to be in one of his YouTube videos on the Internet. And I told him, I said, I've never been in a YouTube video on the internet before. What if people don't like me? And Brian told me that he thinks everything would go fine. So I agreed to be in his YouTube video because he wanted the thoughts of an actual grizzly bear to contribute to his video. All right, without any further ado, it's time to let you know what I think of these designs. I'd say that my favorite one is definitely the... All right, guys, we did it. We put the designs into the mock-ups, and I'm loving it. I think that these look really sick. Um, there's a couple of tweaks I might make if I were to give it some more time, but I'm pretty happy with where they're at, so I'm going to show you, and we'll see what you think. So first off, we got the home white uniform. I tried putting my logo on the side here just to switch it up from the bear paw that you'll see on the next two jerseys. I think it looks okay. It could use a little refining. I think maybe if we match up some of the line thicknesses here to the bear paw, it might gel a little bit better. But overall, the effect is kind of cool. And again, copying what they did back in the day where they had one of the sides had a giant logo on it and the other one, the other leg has the pattern. So anyways, let's get a little closer look at the tops here. You got the Grizzly scratch marks behind the 12 looking pretty good. I did the Nike logos on all these super subtle color, uh, which I think looks really nice. And I like this logo more than just the swoosh. So it's a more bold logo for them, but in a more subtle color. So it kind of balances out a little bit. Anyways, I think these are looking pretty cool. I added the word Memphis down here. So you get a little hit of teal on each jersey near the bottom of the shorts, which is especially needed on the dark gray ones. So let's look at those ones next. Uh, you got the dark gray ones here looking pretty sweet. The only thing that tripped me up a little bit about this one was the red basketball on the side looks Miami Heat esque to me, but I'm not worried about it. These ones look really good up close in particular from far away. There's not a lot of teal, which is one of the reasons I added the Memphis near the bottom. I think that helps a little bit balance things out and make you realize you're watching the Grizzlies. You zoom in on these ones a little bit. And when the camera zoom in, not quite that much after someone makes a play or whatever, you get those teal outlines and stuff. And it looks pretty good in my opinion. I think it's kind of cool that they all use this same exact outline um, borders on the jerseys and stuff like the same waistband, same collar striping and everything. 
Um, I think it's cool that they all, the striping and stuff, that this worked for every jersey. So that's not that's not very common in the NBA, but I think it works for the Grizzlies here because them and the patterns are kind of synonymous. Anyways, this one's looking all right. Not bad. I like this. I think it's looking pretty strong. And let's take a look at what ended up being my favorite one. In 2D, these might have been my favorite, but in these beautiful mock-ups, I really fell in love with these teal ones. I'm really liking how these looked. If you're paying attention during the fast version of the design, uh, you may have noticed that at one point the numbers and the word up here were white, and I think that could work really well too. I decided to go with black because it's just different than what they had before. Like I said at the beginning of this video, if the Grizzlies want to fix their uniforms, just go back to the old ones. Don't overthink it. Don't change it. You Maybe the size of the logo on the chest, like I said, but just go back to what you had before because it was beautiful. However, I wanted to switch things up a little bit, so I went with the black uh, Grizzlies word mark here and then the, the black number. So I think it looks really sick once again. Um, you got the scratches subtly behind the, the number there. And then I went with the red Memphis on this one because the whole jersey is teal, so I didn't feel like we needed the teal Memphis right there. So anyways, I'm loving how these turned out. I would really love to hear what you guys think of them. I read all the comments, so leave me your opinions below. What team do you want to see me do next? I'm definitely going to be doing more of the NBA. It's just a matter of what order we do it in, so let me know what you guys want to see next. If you have any questions you want to ask me live, I do stream three days a week every Monday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Friday on Twitch. I'll link that in the description below. I guess that's it for today. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon if you want to know whenever I drop a new video immediately. I appreciate you guys being here with me today. Thank you so much. See you in the next one.